Hello there. I bet you've seen and heard marketers and brands using Facebook Live to broadcast their business. In recent years, live streaming has become the latest online marketing trend for business owners and entrepreneurs. With live streaming, you can now take your business even further by generating more leads and establishing a stronger brand name. Since live streaming has become a part of Facebook, this is a grand opportunity for you to integrate live streaming into your online marketing. In this module, you'll learn how to use Facebook Live to build engagements, share insights, and build discussions. We'll also cover tips on sharing quick information and how to conduct reviews on your products or service. Organizing AMA sessions or Ask Me Anything sessions to build engagements and navigating the Facebook Live map. So let's get started. To use Facebook Live, you'll need to download the Facebook app into your mobile phone, then access your Android or iOS Facebook app once the download is complete. At the top of your news feed, in the dialog box, What's on your mind, select the live video icon. Next, type in a brief description about your live stream. You can choose an audience for your video depending on your preference at the bar above your live stream description. Finally, tap Go Live and start your live broadcast. You'll notice that the live stream is in session, which is indicated by the live icon in the middle top of your screen. Once you've finished with your live broadcasting, tap on the Finish icon on the bottom right of your screen. Just like any other online marketing methods, Facebook Live can do all the same with the exception that the information is being shared live. Here, the engagement between you and the audience is vital, as it's the foundation in sharing information. The easiest way to build engagement is sharing exciting moments that you're experiencing in the moment. This can be live events, interviews, behind the scenes, product launches, and even messages from the CEO or founder of your company, just to name a few. By sharing exciting, interesting, or special moments with your audience, you're building a common interest and a connection with your audience besides just using your brand, products, or services as the main medium. Sharing great moments such as reaching a thousand likes or followers on your page, or even reaching your business milestones are moments worth sharing and worth celebrating. Besides that, it's an opportunity for you to pull out sales and promotions to commemorate your achievements together with your followers. Vlogging or video blogging is a form of a blog. So instead of writing your daily post, you can do a video about it. It's a form of content that adds value to your live stream through sharing of insights or daily news. What you can do with vlogging is you can share any insights on your business, products, or services as long as it adds value to your audience. With vlogs, you can build various engagements such as coming up with ideas or discussions alongside your audience. Among other things you can do with Facebook Live is sharing tips with your audience as a means to share quick information that are generally seeked out by your audience. You can also make it more valuable by answering questions that are posted in the comments section of your Facebook Live feed. Another great piece of content that you can do on Facebook Live is reviews. With reviews, you can touch on your own products or services, or it can be a review on other products and services that relate to your business. Reviewing your own products or services is suggested to be your main focus, as you can educate your audience about your products. When your audience are educated and understand the value and benefits that your product or service offers to them, they're more likely to convert to clients, which of course then translates to sales. For example, if you're in the beauty line, you could do a product review on Facebook Live over the multiple types of facial cleansers that you offer or how to use them on different types of skin. You'd be surprised that most people don't know what type of skin they have or how to take care of it. That's an opportunity to educate and communicate and then convert to sales. Besides that, you can conduct an AMA, or also known as an Ask Me Anything session, to build up engagement between you and the audience. In AMAs, you provide a topic, set the context, and viewers that participate are given the opportunity to ask questions directly to you. This creates discussions and engagement between you and your audience. Don't underestimate AMAs, as it doubles up as a wonderful tool for research and gathering insights about your audience. For example, if a particular question about a product keeps popping up over and over again, you might want to take note of it because first, it might indicate that your marketing is not effective in communicating the message, therefore it needs to be reviewed in order to be more effective. Second, the product may have flaws and require an upgrade. Third, you might want to put it in your website FAQ so that you can save time from answering the same question over and over again and move on to more engaging questions. Building engagements is the core of Facebook Live. One of the best ways to improve your engagements with your audience is to watch and learn the patterns on how other people build engagements. To view other people's live feed, check out the Facebook Live map. You can easily navigate around the map to find other Facebook Live users all around the globe. In the Facebook Live map interface, the blue dots represent Facebook users that are currently in live stream. You can move around the map with the cursor to any designated location. Once you hover over a blue dot, a video preview will open up indicating how many people are watching, the thumbnail, and the description. This is a good way to get you familiarized with the interface and the engagements from the viewer's perspective. You'll notice that the quality of content will vary from user to user. There are TV stations that broadcast news or television shows, live streams of sports to movies, and there are those who live stream their daily life to show their presence on the live map. Notice that the lines are drawn from all parts of the world to connect to the center of the live stream, which are the viewers that are currently watching. 
This is a great insight tool to determine where your audiences are located around the world. Just click on the designated dot to start watching the live stream. Once the live stream ends, a notification will follow suit indicating the live stream has ended. To watch the live stream again, the video will be saved and posted on the user's timeline. This allows followers the opportunity to watch the recorded live stream. Optimize your live stream by ensuring that your internet connection is strong because a live stream that is constantly buffering due to slow internet speed or constantly disconnected can severely affect the viewing experience, to say the least. As a solution, please do get yourself on a high-speed internet connection. Otherwise, don't attempt the live stream as a business. It would be very frustrating to view a low-resolution live stream that is constantly disconnecting, and that frustration normally results in lost viewership. Next up, writing a description of your live stream can greatly influence the viewer's decision to tune in. To influence their decision, write a benefit or a desired end result in the description. For example, quote, watch behind the scenes to the grand awards, unquote or, quote, three steps to getting 20,000 US dollars in 23 days. It has to have a hook in order to pique interest, is what I'm saying. There are four ways in maximizing your engagements through the description. The first way is to have a short description that's straight to the point. Ideally, it should be between 200 to 500 words. The second way is to include a strong call to action to prompt your followers to head over to your site. For example, stating in your description to click on the link to receive a special promotional price for the next 24 hours. Third, your quote subscribe here link allows you to direct your followers to your site and to capture their info. The fourth way is to insert your links into your live stream description for your followers, especially if you're running multiple social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. This is a great way to expose your other social media sites to build followers, not just on Facebook.